Hello there everyone, welcome to today's QGIS tutorial lesson 11. In this video, we will learn downloading topographic maps and georeferencing in QGIS 3.14. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so so that you can get a notification when I upload the next lesson. If you're new to my channel, you can follow all my previous lessons from the links in the description below. Let's get started. First, we will learn how to install Google Earth Pro. Then we will learn how to download topographical maps from Google Earth. Later on, we will load the topographic map into QGIS 3.14. And finally, we will do georeferencing using a georeferencer plugin for the topographic map that we are going to have downloaded from the Google Earth Pro. To download Google Earth Pro, we are going to follow these simple steps. First, in, we will open our browser. In this case, I'm going to be using Google Chrome. So I'm going to just type Google Earth Pro Download. Then search. And then I will select the first link that says the Google Earth version, Google Earth. And it will open a new window. And I'm going, I'm going to just look at what we have. There's a Google Earth on web, there's a Google Earth on mobile, and there's a Google Earth on desktop. I'm interested in the Google Earth on desktop, so we're going to click on this link of Google Earth on desktop. And then it will open a new tab, and under this tab there is Download Earth Pro on desktop. And then there is the terms of service here. You can read, you can read through terms of service and but for my case I'm just going to accept and download then I give it a few few seconds and you can see it wants to download Blood Pro and save it in my computer somewhere so I'm going to just click on start download it has already downloaded so I can open the folder where it has been downloaded and you can see I have the Google Earth Pro set up here. I right click on it. Then I will run as administrator. Click on yes. And start connecting to your internet and downloading the Google Earth Pro. So it takes a little bit of time. Complete downloading and installing. And you can see it's installing. It says installation completed. Click on close and it launches Google Earth Pro on your desktop. So that's how you download and install Google Earth Pro. I just click on close here and we have successfully installed Google Earth Pro into our Windows computer. So the next, let's go to the next step where we're going to download a KML file that is going to guide us on how to get these topographical maps. To download topographical maps of, from any part of the world, we will require a, a KMZ file that is going to guide us on how to download this free topographical map. So in our, we'll, we're going to open our browser again. We're going to type US Army, Army Maps. Dot KMZ. Then, then we are going to select the first link that is the US Army Maps version 17 KMZ. And we are going to save it in our folder where we have all the important things. So I'm going to go to my GIS folder and I'm going to create a new folder here and say useful. 
KML files. Now I'm going to save it in my useful KML files, it's a KMZ file. And it has finished downloading. I'll open the folder. And you can see I have my US Army KMZ file here. So I'm just going to go to now Google Earth that is currently blank and click on file then click on open because we want to look for where the KMZ file was and you can see I have my KMZ file here which is what was under da GIS data useful KML file so I'm going to select the useful K KML file and I'm going to click on open and You can see it has been loaded here, but it is actually inactive here. You can see you have your US Army map.kmz here, but you can see it's unchecked here. So I'm going to check it so that you can actually see what information that it contains. I click on the check map and you can see now the KMZ tiles have been loaded into our Google Earth. So I'm going to click on this drop down box down here so that I can see which kind of information is here i'm going to click on the drop down again you can see and i have the world world africa and global cities you can see this is the world and it is one to two 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 hundred and fifty thousand and this is one to a million and this is one to two million for africa so we want to just see because there are several layers we want to see what kind which layer is this which layer is this and which layer is this and also which layer is this so to know the, the, the difference because they have the just different colors here and that you can we want to just make some little bit of changes here so that you can know how to use them so I'm going to just right click on the first one which is the world go to properties then I'll come to style here and share style and you see now it tells me the style that is for that first world for 250,000 is this color so i want to just do some little bit of changes i want to give it some some red blue and the yellow colors so this one i'll give it red color then i'll just change the size to maybe say two and i'll say okay and now you can see there the regions that have the red square, square tiles are the ones that have they're the ones that have the one for one to two two hundred fifty thousand now we can decide to just download the ones in the red zones so i can just uncheck the others first so that i remain with ones the ones in the red zones so to download i just zoom in to a region let me maybe zoom in here to maybe say this region of of the world let's zoom in maybe zoom into this Maybe let me zoom into that. So I want to download the topo topographic map of this region. So you can see here there is a cursor. I'll click on it. It will give me information about this. And this is a region in Pakistan called Punjur. Punjur. So I'm just going to to highlight on this map and then right click on it. When you right click on it, I'll copy the link. And then I'll go to my browser, open a new tab, and then I'll paste the link and search for it in my new tab. I'll, I'll give it some little bit of time, and you can see it has given me a preview of the the topo map of the area. I can zoom in, and you can see this is a topo map, and it gives you all the information of, about this. I can just scroll this side the elevation the co conversion, the coordinates, and all that, prepared by, and even the, look at the title of the map, warning all, so to save this, what you need to do is you just need to right click on it, and then click on save images, and then you're going to look for a folder where we're going to save all all these topo topo maps i'm going to create a new folder here and say topographic 
maps. And then I'm going to just save it there. And it's 3.5 MB. And I have downloaded the first topographic map. Now let's download the second topographic map which has a different scale. So I'll uncheck this one, the first world, and then check the second world, which has is uh, to a million. And I can't actually, you can actually see the some lines here, but they're not very, very, very visible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also change the style or the properties. And I'm going to change the style, style color to maybe say uh, yellow. And then I'm going to add We now have the world with one to a million scale. So I'm going to zoom into just another region here and maybe say this region here. And now we'll just do the same thing as we did the first, um, with the first topo map, we'll download the same way. Click on it now, right click, then copy link. Then we'll open a new tab, press the link and search for it press and go and it'll give it a few seconds to load and you can see it's loading out of a map now you can zoom in look at the information in your topo map And you can see the level of detail and the title of your map and also even the edition. So we're going to download this. Download will see do the same thing when I click on it. Save images. You can edit and write any 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 name, maybe the name of the map, but I just save it like that. I click on save in, our, in the same folder that we are using. And now we can open that in QGIS. Now, now we are going to download the third kind of uh, topo map. Now, maybe say from global cities. I'm going to uncheck this and also uncheck the global city maps. And you can see under the global city maps, there are several cities here. So we are going now to select a country, maybe say, let me select Bangladesh. Just click on this, this city here called Chittagong. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy link and I'm going to paste, create a new tab and I'm going to paste and search. And it has downloaded our map and you can see these are quite a very old map for the city. We can maybe download for another city that may, might be having more details. So let's go to maybe, maybe say Japan and download maybe say Q. Just double click on the link. Fukui. And you can see there is map A and map B, so I'm going to just select map B. Then I'm going to copy link. So in my browser. Open a new tab. So 
then just don't go. And you can see this is a query map for one twenty to twenty five thousand. The scale of one to twenty five thousand. So that is how you can actually download now for the different cities that you want to work on. Now let's go to QGIS and load our topo maps. There are there are raster layers, so we're going to go to layer, add layer, add raster layer. And you're going to browse where the raster layers are. And remember they are under GIS or desktop GIS data, and they are topo maps. So for graphic maps, and we are going to load. And you can see we have loaded our topo map, but when you look at the coordinates, they are actually not right. So in the next lesson, you're going to learn how to now georeference topo map. In QGIS. If you found this video useful and you want to learn more on GIS, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon so that you can get a notification when I upload the next lesson. Otherwise, I'm just happy you're here. See you in the next lesson.